SEC or squamous cell cancer is slightly less common but can be more dangerous than the most common skin cancer at BCC which I made a recent video on. These skin cancers are also sometimes put into a group called non-melanoma skin cancers for obvious reasons. Now, I'm going to show you some photos of SCC shortly. It's related to and can arise from actinic keratosis and Bowen's disease which are precursor lesions. If you haven't checked out that video make sure you do. I'll link it above and put it in the description below. But SCC can also develop on its own and pop up in a piece of normal skin and sometimes it can grow very quickly over a matter of weeks. So squamous cell carcinoma or SCC is a form of skin cancer that originates in the squamous cells and these are the like, squished up cells which are part of the outer layer of skin or epidermis. And this is the epidermis here, this very most outer layer of skin. As with all skin cancers it's crucial to catch SCC early so that any treatment causes less damage to the surrounding tissues and early treatment reduces the chance of this skin cancer spreading. This is one of the main areas where SCC differs from BCC in that they can spread to lymph nodes then around the body causing a lot of problems and requiring more aggressive forms of treatment. We're going to look at some cases and SCC can present as a red scaly patch, a raised lump or even an ulcerated lesion. They can sometimes be itchy or bleed and these symptoms are similar to those of other skin lesions such as actinic keratosis or solar keratosis and Bowen's disease. Okay, let's take a look at some cases. This is uh, SCC on a person's cheek. This is an elderly lady with this cheek lesion growing quite rapidly over a few weeks, about four to six weeks. Uh, again, another scaly lesion, this time on a man's arm. The red base, there's a bit tenderness there when you touch it. This one, you can see I've marked it out ready for excision. This was sometimes called a keratin horn, which looks like just a thickened piece of keratin, and often these can be due to actinic keratosis or um, even a viral wart. But this one was a bit tender, so there was a bit of um, redness at the base also, and on excision, this one was also confirmed as an SCC. SCCs are more common on the ears than BCCs are, and this lesion also grew quite fast. Again, another rapidly growing lesion, took four to six weeks for this one to grow on a lady's cheek. This lesion was an immunocompromised man who had been on medications to uh, for his kidney transplant. And then uh, this lesion is on a lady's cheek, um, again could be mistaken for actinic keratosis, um, but you need to see a healthcare professional trained in order to be able to get these accurately diagnosed and treated. So a proper diagnosis is crucial and that's where your healthcare professional comes in. We use dermatoscopes for accurate evaluation of SCC, but the dermatoscope's not quite as good as for diagnosing SCCs as it is for other skin lesions. Now any doctors or other healthcare professionals watching this video can learn more on skin lesions and dermoscopy use from my dermoscopy course which I'll a link in the description below. Again, not to sound like a broken record, but like BCC, actinic or solar keratosis and Bowen's disease, sun exposure is a significant factor causing SCC and it's sun exposure over many years which tends to do the harm. Other causes can include immunosuppression, which can itself be due to a multitude of things like medications reducing the immune system and chronic illnesses. When it comes to assessing a skin lesion, here's some things to watch out for. Don't miss a lesion which fails the A, B, C, D, E rules. And that means watching for lesions which appear to be A, asymmetric, B, have an irregular border, C, have more than one color, D, look different from all your other lesions and E are evolving or growing. And please note that SCC, as I said earlier, can grow really quite quickly. Other things to watch out for are lesions that form a scab but then heal and scab over again and have an ulcerated area within them. There can be due to basal cell carcinoma. Again, I've linked to the other video on BCCs and you can watch that too. Diagnosis is often confirmed by a biopsy where a small piece of the skin lesion is taken out and examined under a microscope. Treatment can range from surgical excision to radiation therapy or even topical therapies like creams depending on the stage and the location of the lesion. The pathologist who is the professional doctor at the lab who looks at the biopsy samples on 
under the microscope, classifies the SCCs into different grades of severity or stage, depending on things like how the cells look under the microscope and if any of those cancer cells have invaded into local nerve tissues or blood vessels in the piece of skin that they have been sent to analyze. And if the skin cancer cells have invaded into the nerve or blood vessels, that would be a sign of a more harmful or dangerous SCC. And now that being said, many SCCs can be of low risk and like BCC, after they have been removed surgically, no further action needs taken apart from regular skin checkups. I always say that sun is life-giving and it's wonderful to get outside into nature, allowing the morning sunlight to hit your retina and skin. However, the poison is in the dose. Be careful of overexposure. Wear protective clothing when you're outside and daily use of high quality sunscreen with both a high SPF of 30 or above and a UVA star rating of four or five, as discussed in my videos about solar lentigos. Also, regular skin checks with a healthcare professional trained in skin lesion recognition, especially if you have a history of other skin lesions like actinic keratosis, Bowen's disease or BCCs, or if you've used sunbeds and had a lot of sun exposure over your life. As I mentioned earlier, SCC has the potential to spread to other parts of your body if left untreated, unlike solar keratosis and Bowen's disease. So early detection and intervention are key to successful treatment. SCC is a condition that requires your attention. Consult your healthcare professional trained in skin lesion recognition if you notice any changes to your skin. I hope you found this information helpful and if you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as it helps the video to reach more people who need to know about this topic. So until next time, take care of your skin and look after yourselves. Bye.